trees are coming here now. This truck arriving at Bayside Community Church in Sarasota is uh, filled up, with buddy. Christmas cheer. 150 trees inside. There's uh, so many trees. Meant for dozens of Suncoast families in need. I'm proud of what my son did. You know, uh, we tried to teach him to pay it forward and have, have some integrity in life and do, do good things. And him and Hannah have been, you know, we're phenomenal about that. Donations. It's all donations. Keith Morris uh, says these trees are a meaningful act of service. Bell, are you going to help carry one? Strapped for cash, Morris's late you son know. Josh and his wife Hannah couldn't afford a Christmas tree. But then someone stepped in to help. So someone that they know dropped one off at this front door so they had a Christmas tree. And that's what started the whole idea for Josh to pay it forward and help others that didn't have for the holiday season. 25 in one pile. Right. The couple started the nonprofit Thanks for Giving Trees, donating real trees and stands to struggling families. Makes it a happy moment for everybody, I believe, and being able to celebrate Christmas is something that I feel like every family should be able to do, and I want to have that opportunity to be able to bless those families who aren't able to have a Christmas. Yeah, we're, we're over here unloading. Since starting this charitable event, Joshua has passed away, leaving behind Hannah and their four children. And then the trees with these stands will go right But despite their loss, this family continues their mission of helping others. So you'd be very happy. I know he's looking down above on us and he is just smiling, really happy and really proud of us that what we're doing, continuing his legacy. Nice trees. A legacy of giving. Holiday cheer to those who need it most. Excited to be here. In Sarasota, Summer Smith, ABC7, your local station. You guys are going out to the field first? For the third year in a row, oh, second and third grade. the Bradenton Marauders and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Manatee County teamed up for young baseball fans. We're here to have a good time. We're here to have some fun. For our kids to not only get to come out on the field, but meet some players, get their hats and their balls signed. I mean, it just really lifts their spirits. It gives them an excitement that um, will just live on for the rest of their lives. One, two, three, All right. The day was a home run once again, where over 50 kids got to learn firsthand about the fundamentals of baseball. It's a special memory that you'll remember forever because they they know a lot about baseball and you they give they give you advice and stuff and to be on the field it feels great to be out here with them period and it feels great first up we have nike at first base the marauders are an affiliate with the pittsburgh pirates and third base we have aaron making the junior rbi program play ball here we go possible at leecom park Wrong man, run it first. The camp focuses on teaching kids in communities where the sport may not be as accessible. I think the biggest thing is just seeing their smile on their face. You know, um, they're fortunate enough to play on this beautiful field, you know, around their peers and around um, us players. And it's great just to, you know, see the smile on their faces. You know, I feel like I'm doing a, a great service just, you know, trying to make these kids smile. Good job! It's like they can give us advice and stuff. And then they know a lot about baseball. Go, 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 run, run, you gotta run. Many of these kids are inspired to keep playing. Run, 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 run. And they better keep it up. We have some local stars in the making. There's a lot of future players out here, future marauders, future pirates, and you know, I'm excited for these guys to just keep going on with their um, career. Go for it. In Bradenton, I'm Brendan Mackey with ABC7, your local station. My boy, I love that arm. Chop, chop, mix it up, order up. The kitchen is bustling here at Suncoast Technical College. Grab a pan. I know how to dice now, and I've been dicing for a while. I've been used to it. Right here, Haley. Students like Selena Martin are learning how to prep, cook, and serve meals, gaining necessary job experience. I love it so much here and I just love to cook, I love to do everything here and I love the teachers, I love everyone here. 
This program is the Culinary Arts to Careers program. It is the only program of its kind in the state. This is food ready to eat. That when the students complete this program, they'll be able to apply and enroll and work in our school cafeterias. And I'm going to add butter while you do that. Kathleen Mattingly is the brains behind the operation. She tells ABC7, right now, 27 students are enrolled. They are bussed in from six different high schools in Sarasota County. She's proud to see her dream come to fruition. It brings tears to my eyes because it took a while to get it done, but now it's successful and it means so much to me. Through her leadership, these students are not only gaining jobs and life skills, but also camaraderie. Spatula. It's such a win for them. It's helped our students to become stronger, become better leaders, and even it's helped with their disabilities. And in turn, the culinary students are helping their classmates. Okay. They prepare these meals that end up in these vending machines. These students are serving their community, gaining industry certification, and making memories and friendships that will last a lifetime. Do a little more sprinkle of almonds on there. In Sarasota, I'm Kelsey Cairns for ABC7, your local station. And then go get some cornstarch. Cooking is an art. Make the whipped cream. And in Jackie Allen's kitchen, go get a pan. You better make every meal count. Put it in a cup and add a little bit of water. In the halls of Southeast High School, you don't do that, that cornstarch could lump all up. She is known as a chef. To make sure you can get it all dissolved. She has been at the school since 2013. Okay, stir it. And teaches her students to be better cooks. You don't ever want to add cornstarch straight to a item. On top of life lessons. I didn't realize how much I affect students, how much I have an impact on them, and you just don't understand how many things these kids go through. I give out hugs, they cry, they tell you, you know, and they just, it's, it's definitely something that I am very happy that I decided to do. Chef may love sugar on her desserts, like these crepes. Those are nice crepes. But she won't sugarcoat her feelings. Unfortunately, parents let their do everything for their children now. When these kids come to me as a culinary one, they don't know the difference between a washer and a dryer. They don't know how to use a mop, okay? And you win or you lose. Because when you graduate and you get out there in the world, they're not going to say, honey, here's a trophy for doing a bad job. So in here, I treat them as adults. Without chef, add some water to that. And this program would look a lot different. She is amazing. She makes this culinary program work. Without her, I seriously don't know how we would do all of this. She takes it on to like, her responsibility to do everything for this school. It's good on low. And that's why she was nominated. Jackie Allen? Hello, I'm Brennan Mackey with ABC7, and you are this month's chalkboard champion. Congratulations! How about that? Congratulations! Chef Jackie? Yes, sir. On behalf of ABC7 and Carl Reynolds Law, we'd like to present you this check for $500 as this month's chalkboard champion. It's amazing to see the difference of some of these kids that come in at Culinary One and they're like, I don't know what to do. And then they build up and build up. And so by the time they're four, they pretty much are self-driven because they have to come up with all the recipes. They have to come up with the menu. They have to come up with invitations. They have to sell tickets, everything. And they do it all. I'm Brendan Mackey with ABC7. Then just wait and flip it. Okay. Your local station. Two more. Nick Walinda. The Daredevil yeah. Highwire. Is that too much or not enough? Performer is known all across the world. To become the first person in the world to walk across Niagara Falls and then walk across the Grand Canyon and then an active volcano and uh, Times Square. I've, I've walked all over the world. But his favorite place to be is Sarasota. My heart's always going to be in Sarasota. This is, this is home for me. No matter what, there is no greater place in the world. There's no more beautiful place than Sarasota, Florida. The bike? Normally this time of the year, Walinda would be in New York City performing with the Big Apple Circus. But this year, he's putting on a big show in his hometown. I think so. I think it's the same. He's working with the Circus Arts Conservatory. 
bringing a brave new wonderland to UTC, creating an unforgettable holiday experience for the community. It's an, a dream and a vision of my wife and I's that we've wanted to bring to our hometown of Sarasota. Walenda is not only the star of the show, he's also the mastermind behind it. And let's get the lights plugged in. Producing and directing, as well as putting together all the props and decoration. These two, and then get all of those plugged in in the back. A huge production. If you need help. He hopes will bring everyone together. Everything that I do is about inspiration. I try to use my gifts and talents to inspire others. A, whether it's uh, nothing is impossible. If I can walk from one side of a volcano to another, then you can make it through your battle with cancer. You can make it through the, the challenge of, of the struggles of finances or whatever you're dealing with. A combination of thrilling circus acts and amazing aerial performances meant for all ages. The cool thing about circus arts is they sort of read to, to any generation, any age group. We produce shows that will make a five-year-old happy and a 85-year-old happy. Good. Good stand. A show Walenda is proud to be a part of. All the way in. And can't wait Go. for the community to see. Good stand.